Well, Vanessa, cold start to our week today. And oh my gosh, I had trouble getting my car started this morning. But, you know, we did make it. We're safe. And luckily, you know, today people shouldn't be on the roads. It's it's a holiday. It's yeah, a we do have the MLK <laughs> federal holiday today, Courtney. So we have no schools in session for today. A lot of places are going to be closed today. So at least we don't have to worry about a lot of people dealing with the cold this morning. But if you do need to out, be out and about today, please allow for your cars to warm up for about five to 10 minutes to allow the fluids and the heater to get going and also continue to take the precautions to bundle up, stay warm because we're going to still be stuck in this Arctic air mass as we head into today and into Tuesday. That is why wind chill warnings remain in effect for us as we're still going to be dealing with those wind chills. It's going to make it feel like 20 to almost 30 degrees below zero as we head into a new week. Currently, air temperatures alone are in the below zero degree mark. Right now, currently eight degrees below zero in St. Joseph, seven below into Cameron and Maryville, Kansas City, 13 degrees below zero this morning. When you factor in those north to northwest winds, that is when that wonderful wind chill kicks in. It's making it feel like to your skin, your bare skin, if it's not covered up, 20 to almost 25 degrees below zero out there. And we're going to get very little relief from the cold heading into today as air temperatures alone will be struggling to get up past the above zero degree mark. And on top of that, we're going to get some light snow showers heading into the afternoon as a quick moving disturbance will be pushing through. We're already starting to see a few clouds trying to move in this morning. There's our little disturbance out to the west, moving into Nebraska and into Kansas. I'm not expecting much with this disturbance as it pushes through, but do not be surprised if you do see that brief snow shower heading into the afternoon. For the most part, we have high pressure building into the central U.S., but the clockwise flow from it is what's still bringing in the bitter cold air and those northwesterly winds. Heading into the afternoon, we're going to see that brief snow shower or two as the disturbance moves into the region. It will quickly move out heading into tonight, then clear skies as we wake up on Tuesday morning, but it's going to be another cold start until high pressure moves off to the east and we'll start getting the southerly flow of the winds and we start seeing a brief warm up quote unquote with the temperatures midweek. Here's the latest hour by hour forecast showing those brief snow showers as we head into the afternoon. It's mostly going to stay confined to our far southern counties, but in our northern counties, don't be surprised if you do get a couple of snow showers, mostly clear skies heading into tonight. So again, we're still going to be dealing with the cold air Arctic air mass in place with those wind chills making it feel like 20 to 30 degrees below zero. Again, we just have to stick with this for another 24 to 36 hours. Again, snow chances as we head into the afternoon, those overnight lows will fall again to 12 degrees below zero heading into tonight. Here comes the teens and the 20s making a comeback as we head into the middle part of the work week, Courtney, before another cold blast of air heading into Friday and into Saturday. Thank you, Vanessa.